Piers Morgan, 56, has used his social media platforms to talk about the depraved monster Vladimir Putin, after Russia launched its attack on Ukraine last month. The former Good Morning Britain presenter took to Twitter today to allow an exception on today's cancel culture over the Russian leader's latest deluded comments. Putin launched a verbal attack on the West today for discriminating against Russian culture. He compared the supposed discrimination to be like the ceremonial burning of books by Nazi supporters in the 1930s. As reported by AFP news agency, Putin said, today they are trying to cancel a thousand-year-old country. I am talking about the progressive discrimination against everything connected with Russia. Angered by this, Piers took to Twitter in view of his seven. 9 million followers to respond. He penned, FFS. I abhor cancel culture but I'll make an exception for this deluded PK. Having been cancelled in the past for his remarks directed towards Meghan Markle, many social media users took to the comments to respond to Piers' cancel culture remark. MPE underscore right said, I bet Meghan is pleased that Piers has found someone else to hate because it brings him more attention. Durkert added, has cancelling his country's future all by himself. But as he always does, he blames everyone else and denies all of his wrongdoings. Kavorka underscore curse commented, we know it's dire when Piers is cancelling people. Piers came under fire for the remarks he made surrounding Meghan and Harry's Oprah interview last year, leading to him to quit Good Morning Britain. Piers had said that he didn't believe a word the Duchess said about struggling with suicidal thoughts and disputed her account of allegedly experiencing racism during her time as a senior royal. Following this, Piers received more than 54,000 viewers' complaints to Ofcom, leading to an investigation. Ofcom cleared Piers in September last year, ruling that the host had been sharing his opinion and was entitled to do so. An Ofcom spokesman said, this was a finely balanced decision. Mr. Morgan's comments were potentially harmful and offensive to viewers, and we recognize the strong public reaction to them. But we also took full account of freedom of expression. The statement continued, nonetheless, Webb reminded ITV to take greater care around content discussing mental health and suicide in future. ITV might consider the use of timely warnings or signposting of support services to ensure viewers are properly protected. Pierce did not stop there however, as he has reportedly invited Meghan on to his new talk TV show. He also regularly takes to Twitter to verbally attack the Duchess, calling her Princess Pinocchio yesterday.